Instagram was created by Kevin Seistrom and Mike Krieger and first went live in October 2010 as a mobile app. The basic premise is very simple. Instagram allows you to upload a photo to your own profile and to view photos that others have uploaded on a feed. The objective here is different from Facebook, however. Rather than keeping an archive of all your photos in order to tell your own story, the objective with Instagram is to be rather more selective. You'll generally upload a single photo at a time and spend a little time cropping it, adding filters and generally making it look as artistic as possible. Instagram has since been described by many as an opportunity to find art in everyday moments. You'll see pictures of empty gyms, of wine glasses with lipstick stains, of sunsets, of running shoes covered in mud, all with different filters applied and a story to tell. Those who understand the platform well manage to create some very artistic images using only very limited tools. Those tools are filters. These are simple effects that can be applied to Instagram images in order to give them a retro look, different colour temperatures, faded effects and much more. It took no time at all for the service to grow to 100 million users by April 2012 and 300 million by December 2014. This is unheard of growth in the industry and as such it was only a matter of time before Facebook would come knocking and made an acquisition. Facebook demonstrated tremendous faith in the platform when, in April 2012, it purchased Instagram for a whopping one million US dollars in cash and stock. This would prove to be a smart move. While Instagram grew by 23% over the following year, Facebook would only grow by 3% during the same time frame. At the same time, Facebook made a promise to Instagram users not to ruin the platform with new features or to be too intrusive. For the most part, the company has been true to its word and it will be certainly fair to say that Instagram has maintained its integrity and core purpose over the years. Instagram has been somewhat integrated into Facebook but not to a huge degree. If you didn't know that the two were owned by the same company, then you probably would not realise it from looks alone. That said, there have still been a large number of different changes and updates to Instagram over the years and these have largely improved the platform. For example, Instagram would originally only support a square image format in order to mimic old Polaroid photos. Later, it would introduce the ability to upload photos in a range of aspect ratios, creating many more possibilities over time. Another perhaps overdue feature was added in 2013, video sharing. Users could record and share videos up to 15 seconds and with resolutions of 640 by 640. This was seen by some as an attempt to compete with other platforms that revolved around video sharing, such as Vine. However, it was arguably a logical addition to the platform's roster of features. Then came more precise editing controls. Rather than just being able to add different filters, users could now alter different settings manually controlling things like the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, etc. Instagram Direct was also added in 2013 and was another important upgrade. This allowed users to send images directly to other users. In 2015, new features were added to this mode, allowing for basic instant messaging and the ability to share multiple photos at once. The main function for this, however, is of course to share pictures that you think a friend or a contact will particularly enjoy. And then came Instagram Stories. Instagram Stories was added on August 2nd, 2016, and at the time I'm making this video, it is the newest big addition to Instagram's functionality. It's also one of the biggest game changers for the platform and very much a product of its time. Essentially, Instagram stories allow users to add images and videos for their followers to see and that will disappear after 24 hours. These images don't appear on the user's profile grid on the feed and also allow for the inclusion of live videos, which are live streamed videos that can last for up to one hour. Live videos uses the same interface as the stories option, but will self-destruct instantly once they're over. Instagram Stories has a lot of potential for marketers and has many unique benefits outside of the main features of Instagram. 
The first reason for this is that Instagram stories appear in a different place to the other content on Instagram. These appear in small circles along the top of the feed, thereby drawing a lot more attention to themselves and, at the same time, increasing engagement. The other reason that Instagram stories are so successful, and one of the reasons that they're so much a product of their time, is that they can be likened to various forms of live content. Right now, live content is all the rage. This was a big deal in 2015 and 2016 with the likes of Periscope and Meerkat. These were two massive live streaming apps that enabled users to broadcast videos live to a global audience. These videos could be recorded and would remain on the channel for a while for those who miss them. But the most exciting part of these platforms is being able to look at a world map, or in Periscope at least, and tune into all the people broadcasting live from anywhere in the world. You can see behind the scenes from live news broadcasts. You can see people vlogging from their kitchens over their morning cups of coffee. And you can see people working out live. Live video has a much more intimate and immediate effect, and it allows creators to interact directly with their audience. Most live video solutions allow for some form of commenting, and this means that the broadcaster can then respond live to the audience. Imagine the benefit as a product manufacturer of being able to demo your product live on air and then answer questions about it in real time. Imagine the power of being able to chat with your fans live and let them feel like they're coming with you as you carry out your daily chores. Imagine how much more engaged they would be and how this could help to turn them into even bigger fans. Snapchat has a similar appeal. Snapchat is not live for the most part but it nevertheless allows you to share photos directly with an audience from anywhere that are very in the moment in nature. Snapchat images self-destruct. This has proven highly popular and has seen Snapchat continue to grow and exceed expectations despite everything. People love feeling as though they have an intimate, privileged access to their very favourite creators. So it was only a matter of time before other platforms began to follow suit. First we saw Facebook joining the party with Facebook Live. Now Instagram is doing the very same thing. Instagram Stories is essentially Snapchat on Instagram. And the live video function marries this perfectly with Periscope and Facebook Live type functionality. Take the already huge potential of Instagram and introduce these two very exciting and very current features and you have a recipe for something truly huge. And this is exactly why Instagram Stories is such big news for marketers. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.